Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will continue to learn Dynamo. This is uh, number three, lesson number three. If this your first tutorial or you just uh, first time watching the uh, tutorial about Dynamo, please check link below this video. There you will find the previous tutorials, and I highly recommend you watch the previous. Uh, you should watch the previous tutorials first. Okay, for those who already watched the previous tutorials, so we can continue. Um, here is my Dynamo. As you can see on your right on your screen uh, so and what's going on here now uh, we will use the previous um, previous file 3d uh, 3 dynamo 3 two points uh, geometry let's open up it and if you remember the last time we finished on the, our simple uh, half um, uh, arc uh, geometry so I will go to 3d view to uh, just to show you what we finished last time okay here is my geometry as you can see let's, uh, let's change the my graphic style to the constants and colors and you can see now the colors of the my geometry okay what's going what what we will do today you now know how to use uh, the points uh, you know how to control it you know how to um, how to manipulate with the points but today we will make something more um, uh, more hard uh, let's say you want to make here the curve uh, like this and on this side too you want to make the curve so and that arc will be more smaller than that two arcs so and that one we will create today we will start to manipulate with some organic forms so what you like actually uh, after that you will understand how you can create more complex families in Revit so let's get start and for the quest first question for you guys so what we gonna do uh, most of you will think we need now create here the point here the point after that we need connect this point and this point like this right after that we should find here the middle point somewhere here to create here the arc and after that we should use uh, the our loft to create this kind of form uh, this is half true half not so we can find more easily way so what we actually need we need to create only one arc we will create only this arc for this arc we need only this point so and we will try to find now this point so let's start um, let's make like this uh, this all nodes I will make a bit down like that because we uh, we need a bit space on the between as you as you know these nodes it's controlling this that uh, profile and that nodes controlling that profile so uh, to better understand what we will get the middle will control the middle part right so okay let's let's go back now mm, here to the view and what we first need we need of course the point let's find here the point we need the point uh, by coordinates point point by coordinates so this is first one let's choose it and now our point exactly on the zero so our point exactly here this is pretty cool but we need uh, on the middle so how we can get uh, on the middle we need number five right so I will copy it number five uh, this is y direction just I will remind you sorry guys so here is our axis here the x here is y and here is z so to uh, to put it uh, here no, on the y direction we should change the y direction after that we should change a bit on this side so we need y and x direction here will be 5 here will be maybe I don't know maybe like 2 we, because if I will get here 5 it will be on the middle we don't need it so uh, y is uh, equal 5 x will equal 2 let's create uh, y as I said will be 5 let's make it 5 and uh, X will be 2 let's make it 2 and let's connect to the X as you can see we get it here this is what I want let's say rotate for you oh it will be a bit hard because uh, actually our form is so small I will draw here something because I want to rotate around it okay I will do like this and I can now rotate it around it so and as you can see now here is our point and now we need connect this point that point and that point by arc so how we can do that let's find let's try to find our zero points okay our zero points first here how I know that because everything here is zero so it means it's this point okay 
uh, if I know everything zero, I should find now my point with some y direction and without uh, also the nothing. Let's try to find it here. Okay, it's here, as you can see, only y direction. We find it. Uh, so we need arc. Let's find here the arc or you can just use the uh, library. Let's use the library arc by three points. Where is our three points? It's a bit hard sometimes to find it. Let's, aha, uh -huh, by three points. Okay, so as we know, the first uh, point will be zero. Let's connect zero. The second point, I mean the final point will be that one. And our midpoint will be this one. Okay, as you can see, we get our arc. Pretty cool, right? So, uh, as you can see, let's make it like this to better understand what's going on here. As you can see, if I will change, for example, to the tree here, it will ch will change arc inside to the tree. But I will change to the one to the two. It will be enough for us. But we we have create only one arc, and I tell you true, this is much enough for us. So we will use now this arc to create our shape. Uh, so let's create our shape. To create our shape, we need to create the polyline. So because our line is not the polyline, it's only arc. So let's uh, use, for example, this one polyline. We can copy it, or I will use again the library. Why I'm using the library? Because you want, uh, you need understand how the working library. Uh, yes, I can copy it, copy paste, but you not will understand where I get it. So use the library. Poly curve. Poly curves, okay. And we need poly curves uh, by join curves. Let's find it by join curves okay so i found it let's connect uh, arc to the curve okay we done it and now we need create uh, we need um, we need connect all our um, uh, curves to the loft okay so uh, actually we no need now this uh, solid by loft because if i will create one um, as you can see one list it's not will work so this is not working for us. We need to use the other one, solid loft. Let's unconnect it and let's find solid by, by, by loft. Solid by loft. So, okay, it's here. Solid by loft, as you can see, it's two. Two solids by loft, so we should choose only one. Let's I'll check it out. You can see here on the right on, on the screen what is going to the input and what is going to the output. And as you can see, difference it's input. Here only cross sections, and here it's cross section and guide curves. So we need the second variant. Why? Because we this arc actually this is our guide curve. So you will see right now how it's what is it and guide curve. We need connect list to the cross section and guide curve it's our poly curve so our arc let's connect it and now you can see we get our shape as you can see if i will rotate it you get we get the shape uh okay but it's not finished i will show you how it's working let's change here the data here is number one now let's change to the number two as you can see number two let's change to the number three oh three thousand sorry three and as you can see it's working but the one thing we have only one guidance curve and as you can see if you will look here uh, now it looks a bit same but here the we have the wave here we have the arc so this is a problem because i want to get the same uh, result on the both position uh, the pretty same result you can see on the number one if you will use here we have the arc here we have the out arc so this is not what we want we want the same position with the both side so we ho how we can do that uh, we need create one more point by but on this side so we already know the way is the, this point we already know where is this point we now need only find this point okay so let's create the second point because we need it how we can do that uh, pretty easy we need create again one point curve let's point by coordinates by coordinates okay so here is my uh, point by coordinates where is my point by coordinates okay here uh, here is my point by coordinates and we need change position to this this point okay uh, where is my this point i will find it i think uh, we changing here x and we don't changing here the y so 
uh, we're changing only x, y is we're changing only x, here we're changing only x, and we're changing here y. So, oh yeah, this is my mistake. Here we're changing only x. Okay, let's connect this number to that x. So now our point is the same, same position, have only that one. Now we need to change points to the uh, 5. We can do it easily because uh, we can ch change. We can use the y direction here from this point. Let's use this from this point. Here is our point. But now tricky thing. If I will connect the same one to the uh, to the um, y direction to the x direction, you will find here the number. So it's not working like this, as you can see. We need to use the uh, simple math. Let's use the simple math, let's use the some, uh, some operators, and we need minus. Why we need minus, you will find it. Uh, we need connect number to the x and number this one to here. Okay, and let's connect the variable to the x. And as you can see, we get the result. Why we did that? Because, for example, if you were in one day, you will change, for example, uh, your arc to the number 2, you will see the same result. If you will change to the number 3, you will see it's going the same uh, direction. So we manipulate with the mathematics. I think this is pretty simple. You can uh, do it more complex. I did just simple one to just show you how it's working. Uh, later on, we will use the code blocks. So as you can see, we have now really a lot of the nodes. Uh, and uh, I think if we will uh, continue, it will be really so messy. Later on, I will show you what is that code blocks, and we will do it only by one uh, by one node, not like this, like you see right here. Okay, but it, this is on the future. Now we should create here the arc. Okay, let's create the arc. We need a, uh, we need again uh, arc. Let's use the arc arc by three points okay here is arc by three points we already know this point is middle one and we need to find the x1 so x1 is he no it's my mistake x1 will be here the first one and the final one it will be oh, x direction and y direction i'm not sure i think this is one i will check it out I think this is one. Let's check it out. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's so messy, guys. I'm sorry, but it's like this. Let's change, for example, here to the four number. And as you can see, arc going to the four. So this is what we want. So uh, now we need only to create one more poly curve. Let's create the one more poly curve. Now actually we can copy that one because it's not will connect as you can see to the uh, to the end. And let's connect our arc to the curves. Okay, so we did it. But now the problem, we have only in one input here, the guidance curve, right? So we should create the list. Let's create the list. Again, list, create. Let's create the list. We need two inputs to get one output. Let's connect, let's connect, and let's connect to the guidance. And as you can see, we get our shape. This is what we want. And this is fully parametrical shape. You can change everything what you want. For example, here will be number two. Okay, here will be number two. Okay, let's say here you want a number uh, four. Okay, here will be number four. As you can see, it's working. Here will be, I don't know, number one even. And it also will be work. So guys, uh, for this stage, you understand how to create complex family. Uh, complex um, mm, shapes in Dynamo. The next tutorials we already will um, optimize everything because now as you can see this is it looks really messy but we get only one shape because in the next stage we will use the some uh, few family few uh, messes in one project. It will be hard to understand where is the parameters of from one family to the other. So. The next tutorial we will continue again we spoke about speaking about the points but we will uh, start optimize our work so if you are interested in these tutorials don't forget about the likes and share uh, it's really taking a lot of the time to explain you how it's working so i will be so appreciate if you will share and like this video thank you guys uh, for watching and see you next time
And yes, I forgot to say one thing. Uh, all the files you will find below this video. I'm using Revit 2020 and I'm using the Dynama 2.1. This is really matter for you. If you have the Revit or Dynama less than I'm using, it's not. It won't work correctly. Okay. Thank you guys again and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script, or you can buy two-story complete house, or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way, you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video, and give some like. And see you next time.